Hello everyone, hope you're having a wonderful day. You're probably not if you're a rogue though. And today we're going to be going over some of the things that were missed in the latest patch that finally released today, patch 1.1.1. Now I'm pretty sure everyone else is fine, but if you're a rogue, you've kind of taken an L today if you've been building with certain aspects because they've finally been fixed. Now massive shout out to Waddy. I'm sure all you guys know who Waddy is. He has already broken this down over on his channel. He's gone over a lot of the things that weren't covered in the actual patch itself sell so massive shout out to him if you haven't checked him out what are you doing now the one good thing that came out of this patch for rogue is that the barber heart now worked with a lot of other things it previously didn't work with rogues were having issue trying to apply vulnerable because puncture didn't work a lot of your lucky hit chance didn't work poison imbument didn't work all of this now worked with barber which was really good to see the main thing they changed the main kick in the balls for most rogue enjoyers is that they finally fixed the Bursting Venoms aspect and also Icy Alchemist aspect. <laughs> now I feel like the Bursting Venoms is arguably the most notable one because there were so many Uber Lilith builds or just endgame builds that were really relying on Bursting Venoms to be able to drop those poison puddles all the time always have poison imbuement without ever having to actually use your poison imbuement charges because as long as you're in the puddle you can keep continually using poison imbuement for like three seconds so this was very strong for those uber lilith boss kills very strong for end game for anyone that was just wanting to run pure poison now i know a lot of people are kind of upset with this but myself and a lot of other content creators have mentioned time and time again that Bursting Venoms is bugged and it is not working how it is intended to work. I still find it really crazy that people are still surprised that this has been fixed. Yeah, they didn't let us know it was being fixed, but we knew it was coming. We knew this bad boy was going to be fixed. It definitely wasn't working the way it was supposed to. Now, I haven't actually tested this out myself, so I might as well do it in real time and give my first impression on how this is actually working. Because I know how this worked before this patch. It was dropping poison puddles left, right, and center. It definitely wasn't working off 10% on lucky hit on a crit. I think it was just working on critical strike. You just have a 10% chance to drop a poison puddle. Now I have put the uh, pestilent points aspect on, the one that gives our third cast of puncture to apply poison immune. I wanna see if we can get more of those poison puddles now with applying more poison immune with our puncture. Is that gonna help the builds that were really relying on burst and venoms? Cause I did test this, pestilent points does work with burst and venoms, but I tested this before this patch and that was when it was dropping a shit ton of those poison puddles. So, all right, let's see if we can get any poison puddles to fall on the ground. We got one straight off the rip there you go look at that i really think the poison puncture is going to help out a lot because you're going to be able to apply more poison immune without ha actually having to use your poison immune but yeah no it definitely isn't applying nowhere near what it was doing before nowhere near it was dropping them like basically all the time it was quite insane there we go we got one it, it does seem like the Poison Puncture is helping out a lot for this. I do want to take this off here. I will uh, just run away. Uh, so we have taken the Poison Puncture off now. I just want to see how bad it is when you're not running Pestilent Points. Like if you're just using Poison Buman, how often are you going to get Bursting Venoms to actually proc now? Okay, so we got one like straight away. I I'm, probably get <laughs> I'm probably getting so lucky here. Hang on, let's see if we can get another one. So that's like four uses of, of imb Imbuement. Let's do this. None. I wonder if our Shadow Clone can help us proc it. Maybe? I don't know. Still not really getting the Poison Puddles now. I got super lucky with that first hit somehow. Alright, Poison again. Hit all the enemies. Nah, it definitely doesn't... Yeah, it's... it's doesn't seem like it works very well without Pestilent Points. Now, I did say in my video when I was testing Pestilent Point that I really feel like it was made... There we go, we've got a Poison Puddle there. It was made for Bursting Venoms, Noxus Eyes. It kind of helped you get Toxic Alchemist out way more than what you would do if you just had Poison Immunement on your hopper. So anyone that is running Bursting Venoms, it does seem like it's going to be well worth your time to put Pestilent Points on now to try and get extra Poison Puddle uh, like procs. Because I'm barely getting any, and then if I go ahead and... Oh my god, I'm getting pulled in. If I just go ahead and put the poison puncture back on, like, I feel like it's just going to be way more consistent. Like, we got one already there from just using poison puncture. So, yeah, I think anyone using Bursting Venom's 
I think the pestilent points, the poison puncture, does seem to be a bit more consistent than you just using it normally. Now, the other aspect that did get shadow fixed was Icy Alchemist. Now, I was a massive Icy Alchemist enjoyer, and after this patch and after them fixing it, I am no longer using it. So, it kind of goes to show how bad uh, the fix actually was and how bugged out Icy Alchemist actually was. I will just show you guys how this works now. It, see, as you can see, it's not even doing the crazy chained explosions anymore. I think we got one there. Um, but yeah, it's nowhere near, nowhere near as good as what it was before the patch. I mean, again, it was bugged. We knew this was going to happen. Just a matter of time. But it just, it really does surprise me at how broken these aspects actually were. And it is crazy to see how many builds are probably going to feel a negative impact from these uh, aspects now being fixed. And if that wasn't enough, Blizzard decided to throw another massive boot into the face of all rogue users with the shadow decoy trap no longer working how it's meant to work. And I'm going to show you guys this now because it is absolutely hilarious. So previously, before this patch, when you would use a subterfuge skill as a rogue, you spawn a shadow decoy trap at your location and it taunts all the enemies to the shadow decoy trap. Now, fast forward to after this patch, when we throw a subterfuge skill out, the enemies still get taunted. But not to our decoy trap. To us. It is absolutely hilarious and it no longer says taunt it is actually like got the fear symbol so this has completely been like changed now before it used to just say that the enemies have been torn now they have like a fear symbol above their head and they all get pulled toward you so here we go here's all the enemies oh no i'm so scared i need to need to disengage and now all the enemies get pulled to <laughs> i mean it if, if you, it, maybe some people might consider this a buff. Maybe they're like, hey man, I wanted the enemies to follow me this whole entire time. The interesting thing though is, do the enemies still attack you though? So if I use this, do they come over and attack me? Yes. They most definitely still come over and attack you. That is actually kind of silly. Because I was just seeing, maybe they come over to you, but they don't actually attack you. No, they're, de they're definitely still attacking you. Here we go again. And they're going to come over and they're going to beat the shit out of me. Best decoy shadow trap ever. So yeah, Blizzard definitely broke this heart. Um, I'm not sure when this is going to get fixed. Maybe in the next hot fix next week. Not sure. So yeah, I would definitely be really pissed if my build revolved around pulling enemies to like your poison trap or something. And now they no longer do that. Yeah, I would be kind of pissed off. Because this is, this is, it's kind of funny, but... Yeah, it's not ideal at all. Alright, so yeah, all those aspects have definitely been fixed. I'm assuming this is the way they're intended to work now. So Bursting Venoms, RIP. It definitely seems like you need to pair it with Pestilent Points now to get it to sort of work how it was before the patch. Icy Alchemist, on the other hand, yeah, not good at all, not good at all. Any build that was using Icy Alchemist, your build's still going to work. Like, Icy Alchemist wasn't making a lot of builds work like Bursting Venoms was. But it was a nice, massive AoE damage increase. Being able to get all those Icy Alchemist procs off on the enemy. They hit another enemy. It just keeps chain reaction. It was really cool to see. And it was really nice to hear that sound effect go off the... Psh, 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 psh. I don't know. I, I fucking absolutely love that sound effect just going off constantly. It was great to see. It fueled my little dopamine brain. But uh, yeah, that is no longer the case anymore. And... You, you're probably just gonna have to switch out Icy Alchemist for like Edge Master, um, in more potency on your imbuements. All of that would probably work just fine. But you will definitely notice a damage decrease if you were using Icy Alchemist because we're not going to be getting crazy AoE chill damage everywhere, freezing the enemies, which then does more damage. So none of that's happening anymore, unfortunately. And then on top of all that, our decoy trap heart is now busted. Uh, it taunts all the enemies towards us. That is definitely not ideal for a lot of reasons. So hopefully that heart does get fixed sooner than later. And what are your guys' thoughts on them finally fixing the aspect? And also not kind of letting anybody know that they were going to fix the aspect. 
I don't really care. I kind of knew these changes were going to be happening eventually. It was just a matter of time. But it definitely seems like a lot of people logging into Diablo today playing a rogue have had a massive fucking jump scare. That's basically it for the video guys, just kind of wanted to show you th that these aspects are definitely not working the way they are, and that our, our decoy trap heart is now broken. Appreciate all the love and support on the videos as always guys, and until next time, stay safe, peace out.